Hello, my name is Nikhil Kini. I'm currently climbing a footbridge over Outer Ring Road in Bangalore. But the reason I'm going up here is because we're in the center of Bangalore's IT hub. We're surrounded by traffic, slums, industries, dust, smoke, and I want to talk about Bangalore's air pollution. All right, so India's MOE FCC, or the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, launched the NCAP, the National Clean Air Program, which aims to basically clean the air nationally. To be specific, they want to develop an air quality management framework across various cities in India. In fact, they identified 132 cities as non-attainment cities, where the concentration level of PM particulate matter does not meet the standards of the NAAQS, the National Ambient Air Quality Standard. And unfortunately, Bangalore is one of those cities. So the MOE FCC's goal is to reduce the PM levels by 20 to 30 percent before 2024. That's in two years. But before they can do this, they first need scientific evidence on what is causing this pollution. And that's where C-STEP comes in. What is this new acronym, you ask? The Center for Science, Technology and Policy, of course. So C-STEP worked on something called an EI, an Emission Inventory. It's basically a scientifically researched database of all the sources, amounts and causes of pollution. And it aims to identify solutions to improve the air quality in Bangalore. And that is why I'm making this video. I want to tell you guys about the key takeaways from this C-STEP report. You need to know what are the causes of all the pollution in the air that you're breathing. For example, this building behind me is one of the many tech parks here in Bangalore city. This is the Silicon Valley of India, so obviously we're chock full of them and they use a lot of electricity. The problem is some of them, when the power runs out, they use diesel generators, which release a lot of emissions out into the city. Solution, the government needs to hold these tech companies accountable. I mean, it's 2022. Companies need to switch over to solar and other forms of renewable energy. This is the innovation capital of the country and it's high time we start to innovate. Another big cause is unauthorized slums like this. The people here don't have regular access to electricity and LPG subsidies, so they end up having to use solid fuels like wood and coal for day-to-day -day use. This combined with a very high population density results in a very high PM emission level. And it can result in medical conditions like asthma, heart disease, lung disease. Solution! The government needs to support vulnerable people in easing out of using solid fuels. Access to LPG would be pretty helpful here. There are also a bunch of other sectors that are touched upon in the report, like commercial restaurants that use coal and charcoal, municipal solid waste burning, construction and demolition sites, industries, and you can read about these different sectors in detail in the C-STEP report, but I wanted to talk about the two biggest problems that all of us contribute to and all of us are going through in every part of Bangalore. Number one, tailpipe emissions. Transportation is one of the biggest contributors to air pollution. Bangalore has the second highest number of two-wheelers in the country. In 2005, we had 2.1 million private vehicles. And then in 2018, we suddenly had 7.2 million. But why do we have so many vehicles anyways? Well, for starters, it doesn't help that all of our public infrastructure and metros are growing at a very slow pace. No, seriously, I hope my grandkids can use the metro one day. Also, Bangalore is huge with a network of 14,000 kilometers of roads. Now just imagine if each of these roads was planned with cycling and walking infrastructure. How nice would that be? Except it isn't. Solution! So obviously the government needs to build an improved public transport system and an efficient suburban railway system so that we feel incentivized to stop using our vehicles and start using public transport. But also they can consider implementing low emission zones like they do in London. They can enforce a crackdown on older vehicles with inefficient engines. And they can also improve incentives to use CNG and electric in public vehicles at least. Just imagine a world where all autos are silent. I can listen to my podcast without background music. The next big problem is resuspension of dust. Bangalore has a lot of dust. You can see it on the side of every single road over here. And the problem is when vehicles pass by, they cause all this dust to resuspend into the air and it's very harmful for us. In some parts of Bangalore, you feel like you're in Mad Max Fury Road. The solution to this starts with end-to-end -end paving and creating actual footpaths. Oh, and while we're at it, fix all the potholes. A lot of potholes. Why am I telling the government what to do? Can you taste? the dust and dirt in your mouth. We have been here for like an hour and mouth is very dry, throat is itchy. Okay, now you know what are the major causes of pollution in our city and what our government needs to do. But now let's talk about what you and I can do because we're part of the problem. Let's not forget that we all face the ill effects of air pollution. I've been filming on this bridge for a while and I can taste dirt in my mouth. We can make a difference and we should really think about the people most vulnerable. Cab, bus, auto drivers, street vendors, street front owners, school buses filled with children, slum dwellers, construction workers. These people are most exposed, so we should do something about it. So, solutions. 
Consider buying or switching to an electric vehicle. Suraj owns one and we use his car for the entire shoot. Consider using a cycle for your daily comedy. My housemate Baldi uses one every single day and he's one of the fittest guys I know. Use public transport. I promise you it's not that bad. I used it throughout my college years and I saved a lot of money. Hey, money. Consider carpooling with your friends and colleagues and at the very least, Share this video with your friends, family, colleagues because everybody needs to know about C Steps research and we need to know what is causing all of this pollution. This knowledge is very powerful and we can hold our local government accountable. You can reach out and sit in on one of the ward committee meetings and actually vote for a change that you think needs to happen in your neighborhood. I'm sure some of you have some great solutions for what we can do to improve air quality in our cities. Please let me know in the comments below. My main reason for making this is because I grew up in this city and I used to ride through this traffic all the time, through these roads in fact. And I used to reach college, reach home completely sapped of energy. I used to inhale so much dust and smoke for so many years that my lung capacity literally reduced. This is not how I want to live life and I know you guys don't want to either. So let's do something about it.